Hello, I am Maria Santamera Lastres, a research assistant in the Health Computing and Intelligent Systems Group at the University of Alcala. Today, I'm going to talk about my current work project, prediction of intradiality hypotension in renal patients undergoing dialysis. Specifically, how artificial intelligence enables the prediction of hypotensive events in real time, allowing for timely interventions. Hemodialysis is a critical procedure for patients with kidney failure, but one of the main challenges during treatment is intradialytic hypotension or IDH, a sudden drop in blood pressure. Predicting when IDH will occur is vital for ensuring patient safety, but traditional models can't handle the complexity of its multiple risk factors and the interaction between them. In Spain, there are around 30,000 patients undergoing dialysis, with cost over 1.2 billion euros for the healthcare system. Enhancing the prediction and prevention of hypotensive episodes can save lives, reduce hospital admissions and alleviate cost, leading to a more sustainable healthcare system. Our study aims to develop a highly accurate predictive model using machine learning to detect IDH when the patient arrives for dialysis based on clinical parameters from the dialyzer and data from blood tests. Our goal is to integrate the predictive algorithm directly into the dialyzer, allowing it to automatically adjust treatment protocols if a high risk of hypotension is detected, preventing complications in real time. Regarding the study methodology, we used data from 758 patients at the Hospital Príncipe de Asturias in Madrid, with 67 variables initially selected by experts. We used XGBoost, Random Forest and LGBA models with the goal of classifying patients at the start of their dialysis as likely or unlikely to experience hypotension. One of the key challenges in developing predictive models for medical applications is handling the large number of fears, which can increase complexity and overfitting. We used two metastatistic algorithms, PSO and GWO, to reduce the fear set and improve the model performance. Talking about metaheuristics, a metaheuristic is a type of optimization algorithm that looks for approximate solutions to complex problems with a reasonable amount of time. These algorithms work through an iterative process. First, a population of candidate solutions is initialized. Each of these solutions is then evaluated using a fitness function. And based on these evaluations, the algorithm modifies the solutions to generate a new population aiming to improve the overall fitness. This process, uh, this process repeats until a stopping criterion is met. Specifically, the cost function uh, used in our metaheuristic approach was designed to balance two main objectives, reducing the number of features and improving the classifier's performance. To achieve this objective, uh, we used two versions of this function with the aim of minimizing patients undetected uh, for hypotension and maximizing correct detections overall, particularly in the minority class or uh, hypotensive patients. Comparing the performance of the XGBoost model before and after fetal reduction, uh, PSO reduced the fear set by 46%, from 67 to 36 fears, which is a great reduction. Therefore, the model's performance improved slightly, with, a, with an area under the curve of 0.76, and recall an F1 score also showed improvements. In conclusion, our study demonstrates the importance of fetal reduction in predictive modeling, particularly for medical applications. The use of metaheuristic algorithms has proven to be an effective, uh, effective strategy to improve model performance while also reducing the number of features required. This approach allow, uh, allows healthcare professionals to anticipate and prevent complications, leading to better outcomes in hemodialysis patients. Moreover, this approach can be extended beyond predicting IDH to anticipate other complications that patients may experience during dialysis. This not only improves patient outcomes by preventing clean, uh, critical episodes, but also broadens the medical applications of the model. Thank you for your attention. I believe this project has the potential to make a real difference in healthcare.